sure. Also, Aeon. Yeah? HarmonyCon released their um, theme for next year. What is it? Musicals. Oh. Let's go. I am going to be skipping down the hall singing epic at full volume. <laughs> so I take it you're going to be dressed as Athena? I could. Athena? Athena. That is in the arena. <laughs> you have the body. No, oh, thank you. I'm not tall enough, though. I, I mean, mean yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Be on your shoulders. <laughs> I mean... Behold! I mean, considering the group we'd be hanging out with, you could be Cersei and I could be Her Hermes. They were lovers in the, in oh the play. Oh my god, you would be such a Hermes with that giggle. Ah, vaporwave yeah. Hermes. <laughs> I mean, I just want to point out, considering the people we hang out with, even if we get... Even if we start drinking, they are they do respect boundaries. No, agreed. Shout out to Snow and his boys, where even drunk, no one makes a passing move. This is very true. It was an amazing party. Yeah. Also, everyone listen to Epic the Musical. It is very worthwhile. Yeah, I even showed it to my parents. Excellent. As you should. My parents, not such a big fan, but they're not such a huge, like, modern musical fan. Like, they can't even listen to Six. My parents loved it. You Your would, uh... <laughs> no, I can't wait for you to meet them. You would very much enjoy my uh, parents. Definitely enjoy my sisters. Um, they sound cool, especially the glass blower. Yeah, like, both of them are right up your alley, but yeah, especially my my aunt's sister, who uh, is a glass blower. She's, like, very artsy. Really? She works in a museum, and she's artsy? <laughs> logic. Yeah, she also told me a lot- Hey, Logic. Mm -hmm. She also told me a lot about how the history of glass blowing in Italy, because she went to Italy to go, like, like do a class under, like, glass masters. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing was that in Italy, it was the only artistic occupation, or I think it was the only occupation, period, where you could go from, you could actually become nobility. So a lot of these people have been in the family for like 13 generations. Very impressive. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, right. I need to work on that. Oops. God, this is gonna be weird. And what's your favorite musical? You told me once that it, like you really liked Chicago, but is that your favorite one? That was my favorite one for a while, but uh, believe it or not, uh, Singing in the Rain actually uh, would have held more in my head for another period of time. There was I'm remembering this as a go-along, sorry. Another period of time, it was actually Rent. Which That's even, totally fair. And, uh, yeah, and every, I think everyone has gone through a period where Rent, where uh, Rent and Seasons of Love was just on repeat. So, like, Rent you know what I mean? is, Yes, but Rent is usually people's favorites until they figure out that everyone's a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, no, like, even me and my sisters would have discussions about how, like, when you first meet Angel, who, by the way, on your first viewing, you'll totally cry for the death of Angel. Yeah. Um, but remember, the first time you meet Angel, they are, they literally broke into someone's house and then tossed their dog off of the 23rd story of a building because for someone money. paid them to. <laughs> yeah. And worse is that they did it to probably the only good character in the movie. Yeah. Because let's be real, he has a reason to be pissed. Like, um, I forgot his name, but he has a reason to be pissed off about people being in his space. Like, yeah, you have to get him. Yeah, like, and not paying the rent of a place that he owns. Yeah, he, like it or not, he has a reason to be pissed off about that. Yeah, he's like the only one who basically grew up, basically, and they're like punishing him for that. Yeah, and then on top of that, like, to make it even worse, like, his house is broken into and they killed his dog, and then they laugh about it later. Oh, yeah. Wow, huge to his face. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. And, like, what's his name? The, the... You have the guitarist who has AIDS and is refusing to, like, help anyone because he's so, like, caught up in himself. You have his roommate whose biggest complaint is, my parents care about me and want to make sure I'm doing well. Yeah, and, oh, and then you have, um... 
the stripper who um, is Still addicted to drugs, drugs around. Yeah. And then like gives drugs to the guy who's addicted to it. Yep. Literally light the candle is about her get getting her candle lit so she can inject herself with heroin. Yeah. That's just like, dude, dudes. I don't know, I kind of liked the black guy, except then they're like, oh no, he stole a ton of money. That's just like... Wow, man. even he... Like, the only... Well, I mean, like, at least the other black guy was that guy we talked about earlier, the sensible one who grew up, and yeah. they kind of just shit on all the time. Yeah, the other one was the one who got beaten up, and then he's like, oh yeah, I got thrown out of MIT because I stole a bunch of money, and then at the end of the movie, he's like, oh, I have money, where'd you get it? I stole it. Oh, yeah. Good songs, though. Like, amazing Good songs. songs. <laughs> yeah, li literally, that's that's how you do it. Good songs. Amazing songs. Seasons yeah. of Love is still a, is still a banger. Still a banger. Um, Especially that <laughs> high note. Sorry? Yeah. I was saying, especially uh, the high note at the end of it. Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I, I have uh, hearing issues. Yeah, sorry. you're good. What's your favorite, Takara? My favorite musical? Yeah. Oh, um, well, uh, got three posters of my favorites on the wall, actually. Um, uh, Hamilton, I'm very big on that. Yes, I love <laughs> Hamilton. Excellent. What's your favorite, wait, wait, what's your favorite song from Hamilton? <laughs> um, probably, probably nonstop. Got it. Just because it's like, it seems like a lot of uh, Lin Manuel Miranda's work has some sort of weird roulette, big banger musical thing. Like you know how in Canto they have uh, "We Don't Talk About oh. Bruno" and it kind of connects all of the vo all of the verses that everyone had together. I just mm. wanted. Oh, I just did. Just want to say one thing uh, to yeah. answer your question, Dusk. My favorite right now is Epic. That is completely fair. I am eagerly awaiting the next one. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, no, I love Epic the musical the most because. It. I just okay. can I just finish finish up by saying that one thing before I. Say. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, no, I love that it. It's not just that it encapsulates a beautiful pagan myth. It's also that it can tell a story in such a way that you don't even need to know the source material to understand it. Yeah, and the, and the music, like the mix. Of, yeah, exactly. And the mix of genres in it is perfect. A genre per character is perfect. And mm -hmm. uh, to tie this back into Takara's point. That is uh, actually a thing I liked about Hamilton as well, is that if you pay attention, Epic does this too, but with a wider variety of genres. Uh, Hamilton does this with a lot of black music, like hip-hop music, with the exception of The King. They have a genre tied to each of their characters, and key philosophies about the genre play into the philosophy of each character. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool. So if you analyze it on that level, even the genre of music that they all sing is tangentially related to them in some way. I do like that part about it. When, when music yeah. fits in like that, I really enjoy it. Yeah, so like, uh, to give you a point, like, Taka, if you notice the music of the king, who is the only, like, he, he has, like, one of the only non-black genres of music in the series. He's a and he's, he's like, like 60 years old, a British invasion, ha, ha, which is deliberate. So, Effectively, his, a lot of his, like, so when I say 1960s pop, I mean, like, inspired by the Beatles, and, you know, they called it the British Invasion because it was when the Beatles became, like, super, super, at super popular in America. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what better music for an invading king of what is effectively a different culture than to have him sing British Invasion-era pop? Mm-hmm. They'll Be Back is a really good song. I do love yes. that. Yes. I do love that one. I, I do believe um, his first and his last song, I think, have the most impact, but I love his first song because he doesn't have a lot of time on stage, but and when he is, he has to be sort of a villain character because of the, how history and the story went and the angle of the story. But what I love that Lin Manuel Miranda did is that he made him a villain, but he made him, like, you absolutely adore him for being a villain villain. Yes, which is how a villain should be written, honestly. Yeah, like, for a lot of people, King George is actually their favorite character in Hamilton, just because, yeah, he's a villain, 
But oh my god, is he so much fun as he a villain. Also, it helps that they got Josh Gad. Yes. That's oh, I can't not make Josh Gad fun. Is it? Oh, was he like, is he the first one? The original? I believe so. Uh, yes, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. no, I remember he was the first, and then he came back to be the third or fourth. I know one of them came back. Damn it. Well, he did say he'd be back. They do have a backstage <laughs> christening ceremony, by the way. Yeah, I, I see what you did there. They do have a backstage christening ceremony, by the way, so they have a coronation where everyone gets together, and then whoever the King George is at the moment, he then uh, christens the new King George as the King George. Aww. In front of everyone else, and it, apparently that's just a culture thing they have in Hamilton, is every time there's a new King George, the old King George swears him in. I think that's adorable. Uh, my, I do want to say this one. Can I say one more thing? I know yeah, I'm sure. sorry for suddenly talking. Hi, Another musical that I've been curious about. I know there's a documentary about it that's really good. Green Day made a musical where, or was, gave the okay to a musical that was um, was later made into an amazing documentary. I'm gonna show you. Um, in fact, the documentary is sometimes listed as better than the play. Um, where these this one Broadway director made a play based off of um, American Idiot, the album. And apparently they were so good at it that when they invited the lead singer of Green Day, because he wanted him like on board with the idea and like approving of it, when he showed him, he later got like uh, totally in into it to enough of a point where he managed to coax him. And he's like, hey, I kind of want to try this. So they did. And then uh, kind of just randomly unannounced for one of the shows, he was brought in to play the character of Saint Jimmy. But apparently no one announced this. So <laughs> imagine going to a Green Day music musical and then live on stage right when Saint Jimmy is announced, it's literally the lead singer of Green Day, like on stage as Saint Jimmy. I think I heard about that. Yeah, and, and he is Saint Jimmy, but like and I, I love the character of Saint Jimmy, because like everything about him is like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> and like it is, it is who he is it is definitely every who he is as he's singing the album but like the way he like he approved of the original actor and still said he was good and even like had him around because he wanted his advice on how to do it properly like on a stage because he's never done it as part of like a theater thing yeah. theater stage he's only done it like musically mm -hmm. um yeah but imagine the shock of the audience <laughs> You know, the lead singer is here to be in his own a, a musical of his own creation. He's like the iconic character, by the way. <laughs> I'm Saint Jimmy. I'm son of a gun. I'm the one that's from the way outside. What other musicals were you into, Takara? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm handing it back to you. I just wanted to gush about that one. No problem. Please go on to continue, Taco, because I know you like musicals, and I want to hear you guess more. Um, I also really like In the Heights and Dear Evan Hansen. Yes. Oh, Dear Evan Hansen, yeah. Oh, I've never seen that one. I have seen In the Heights. Songs. You show me some of the songs. Very... Oh, go on. No, 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 I was, I, I was just saying, like, you have shown me some of the songs, I haven't seen it, but uh, I wasn't trying to interrupt or anything. Okay. Sorry. No, you're good. Um... I went to see both the movies, which came out in the same year as each other. In the Heights got really good reception, but Dear Evan Hansen, that was panned. I didn't, and I don't know why, because I had a good time I watching both I think I know why, them. because the actor who played uh, the main character looked way too old to uh, be a high school student. I mean, it uh, hasn't stopped Disney. Like, Yeah, a high school for, musical, anyone? Not just high school musical. Um, go back to, uh, here's like an iconic example. Go to Hannah Montana... And then look up the brother Jason, and keep in mind that remember Jason is supposed to in plot be a high school, the high school brother of Hannah, and the thing about it is, he the guy that they have playing him is in oh, his thirties, and when you know that you can't unsee it, especially now. <laughs> I'm picturing him in my head, and I still can't unsee it. Oh, you even knew, yeah, you knew back then too. I'm not that it was a mis not that it was such a like, not that it was such like a, a major mystery that you couldn't figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
But maybe he could just be like a few years younger than the dad. <laughs> At what age did you and mom get together? <laughs> At what age did you do the stanky jank? You motherfucker! And you mm. killed them! You asshole! You punched them. Juke, I'm trying to find the uh, the, the south uh, town to find uh, Terra. Because Terra touched that Esper and had this big glowing thing that flew around the uh, flew around the world. Ugh, okay, Phoenix down. This is starting to get ridiculous. God damn it. So how are you guys doing? We're doing good, talking about musicals. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, pick Do you like? <laughs> Fair. <That's a> <laughs> Don't worry, we shall enculture you to even more. Oh, you want to know an old one that's really nice? Mm hmm Singing in the Rain is really nice. Yeah, you mentioned you like that one a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice one. It is. Hmm. Kind of strange, but I know a lot more musicals than people think I do, and old musicals. Uh, one of my dad's favorites, for example, that I grew oh, up okay. listening I to, to a again. lot was Paint Your Wagon, which is almost impossible to even find these days. It's a western musical. It's really funny. Very inappropriate, but very funny. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised you know musicals, but I've known you this long, so... True. Nice also, uh, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas is a really cute one. Oh, isn't, uh, uh, isn't the movie uh, the one with uh, Dolly Parton? I believe so, yes. Sweet. You mean my house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bizarre. Paint your wagon. Uh. Oh, is someone asking about Paint Your Wagon? Mm hmm. Yes, that is with Clint Eastwood. I am very impressed someone's even heard about that. Oh, rapid fire sped up north into the mountains. All right, so that's where I had to go to next. It's it's a very young Clint Eastwood, like really young. No, that reminds me of um, when I was watching Point Break for the first time. And again, yeah. it was because of the song Endless Summer from the Midnight. When I saw it for the first time, it, Keanu Reeves is in the movie. He's extremely young, though. Like, this is pre Matrix. This is, uh, sorry, this is eight years. Before the Matrix. Yeah, Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah, and you have the iconic uh, presidential robbery scene. Yes. <laughs> the Richard Nixon mask, Robin Banks. Yeah, and Brody, who uh, is still one of my favorite villains of older cinema. Not old. Well, it's not old cinema. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think what other musicals are like. Golden, do you have any? Um, this is kind of bouncing off of what Takara said. Um, Hamilton and... Mm -hmm. Hamilton is one of mine, too, yeah. Yeah, I think that's almost everyone. Like, that's kind of a universal acclaimed... Uh, okay. It, it, but... Well, let's expand on it. Uh, what, what's your favorite song in Hamilton? Ooh, um, Quiet Uptown. Oh, that one's beautiful. Yeah, it's... Oh. It's like I do wait. Go ahead. No, wait. go ahead. Go ahead. So like I picked that one because it like it's a low point for everyone because Hamilton lost his kid, and but at the same time they're also like he's finding closure with um what's her name it's, Eliza. Yeah, Eliza. 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 <laughs> it, it's that middle ground of their low point, and it, it's just like it's a beautiful connection that they have. 
but it came at the cost of losing one of his kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other of which is, uh, what's it called? You'll Be Back. Mostly because it's just a fun jam to listen to. Mm-hmm. 